Now here's a question for you. Have you ever wondered why Lonnie Donegan's chewing gum never lost its flavour? Or, indeed, why uh, his old man was such a popular dustman? Well, Richard Wyatt's been finding out more about the folk singer in this week's Backtrack. The horror that lurked in our hedgerows, remembering the tragedy of Dutch elm disease. Why I wasn't the only thing with a big mouth out meeting local shoppers, and Lonnie Donegan remembers Dustman, Chewing Gum and the Battle of New Orleans backstage at the Bristol Hippodrome. Well, I'm sorry the first story out of the bag isn't a happier memory. Pictures of beautiful elm trees on the Bristol Downs and out at Mighty near Swindon, affected by Dutch elm disease, a horrible, life-choking fungal infection carried around by a beetle which eventually kills the host tree. People had tried felling elms to make a sort of firebreak style disease-free corridor in the hope the infection could be stopped from spreading, but it wasn't working. The elm was a very important tree in the landscape, particularly in southern England. Um, it is, of course, in a sense irreplaceable. There's no tree which has quite the sort of magnificence, the uh, magnificence of the, uh, the English elm in particular. Nearly 30 years on, there's still no clear answer to the problem. The search is still on to find a beetle-resistant elm. Well, a happier memory now coming up from 1978 when fans of Skipple King Lonnie Donegan were mobbing their hero on Bristol's old grass-covered city centre. Lonnie had many hits in the 50s and early 60s involving chewing gum losing flavour and his old man being a dustman. The reason I recorded chewing gum was in fact because I, I thought it was a folk song. Everything I did was folk, folk music, right? And I'd learnt chewing gum in the Boy Scouts and of course all the things that one sings around the jolly old campfire, dib, dib, dib are all folk songs. And what about My Old Man's a Dustman? It's an old English folk song. In fact, uh, originally came from Liverpool. In the early 1800s, the, the original title was My Old Man's a Fireman on the Elder Dempster Line. Lonnie told me his 1959 hit, The Battle of New Orleans, was actually recorded backstage at the Bristol Hippodrome. Saturday night after the second show, uh, the record company uh, rushed up with their portable wind up grammar phone and, and recorded Battle of New Orleans on the stage at the Bristol Hip. So, uh, uh, you know, that was a big success for me, so I've got, always got good memories of Bristol. Finally tonight, a real tell-ender, some strange monsters of the deep on sale at a Bristol fishmonger back in 1974. Not as attractive as some of the better-known fish, but a lot cheaper, and maybe easier to eat if you don't have teeth. It's a Geppy Roberix. A Geppy Roberix is a bit more difficult to say than cod, isn't it? Would you buy a fish like that? Not on your nelly. What do you think of the show so far? Super! Not a lot left for me to say, is there? Except, I'll see you next Tuesday. Forward to it, Richard, thank you. Bit of sport now, and in football, Bristol Rovers...